Hello everyone, today is going to be epic. Yes, you did read the title correctly. I'm going to be showing you 10 reasons why you should take your tyres off your mountain bike. So we're going to jump straight into the action with number one. I'm on my high bike, full seven electric bike and we obviously have no tyres on this bike. So the first reason why you should get involved with this is because you can do skids for miles. It is just insane. Oh, it's endless. It is like you've brought your own block of ice with you. It's inc I'm getting one across there, it's incredible. Oh, just metal on floor is just the best thing ever. I mean, that already is enough for you to surely want to get in the garage and get your tires off. Let's go on to number two. Second reason then why you should take your tires off your mountain bike is because I know that you mountain bikers love, absolutely love taking pictures of your bike. And if you take the tires off, you don't even need to lean it on anything. You can just get those bangers for Insta, you know? Look at that. Oh, oh, don't even need to lean it up. It's perfect. Wow, yeah. Let's show you these photos that I've been getting here on the screen. Look, whoa. I mean, that is a reason enough to get rid of those tires, isn't it? Look at it, dreams. Let's go and see what the third reason's all about then, shall we? On to number three then. What is the most annoying thing about mountain biking? Come on, rack those brains. Punctures, yeah, you're right, super annoying. Well, if you take your tires off, that's never gonna happen. So what we're gonna do now is go down these stairs, which you've all seen before, but with no tires, because I'm not gonna get a puncture. In fact, I'm gonna bunny hop into the stairs and force my way down them at speed. Let's get a puncture. Oh, we can't, we don't have any tires on. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> okay, like, as you can see, didn't get a puncture and had so much fun going down. I kind of didn't think about the fact that these stairs have metal bits on them. Have I punctured though? No. Have I had loads of fun? So much. Let's do it again from the bottom. Dream. Now obviously you're going to be asking the question, won't your rims just get destroyed if you do this? Well no, not if you buy Halo Chaos wheels. You can't break them. And you can do that all day long, having the time of your lives without punctures. Also, when you don't have tyres on, you don't have to worry about thorns when you're out on a bike ride. And you can just ride through anything. You can't get a puncture. It is perfect. Let's get on to the next one. On to number four then. Now, this is the fact that without tyres, you always have the correct pressure for riding. So you can do away with your pumps and be ready for a shreddy whenever. Because metal is rock hard and that's how I used to ride my tyres anyway, with 80 PSI and above. But now, it's the dream don't even need to pump them up anymore. I just get fresh wheels out of the box and shred. <laughs> Amazing. On to number five then. And this is the fact that without tires, you've actually got so much grip. These two lips here of the rim dig in super deep into the dirt. So when you're hitting turns and that, it's like proper connected hard to the earth. Look at this. Let's smash a little run of this trail. Oh, so much grip. Cutting. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's the best. So much grip with them. 
Ridiculous. I'm going to go up now and see what number six is all about. Now this reason is just so awesome and, and something that you couldn't do with tyres. Basically, if you decide to take your tyres off, like most of you are going to start doing over the next years because this is going to be one of those things that really kicks off in the mountain bike world. So it's cool to say that like I brought it to you guys first. But if you look behind me here, you can see two lines in the dirt. And if you know that your friends are riding tireless, you'll be able to follow those lines and find them if they're in danger. I think it's great. It's basically a built-in safety device. Let's have a look at the next one. Now, the next reason to not have tires, along with the fact that it can stand up, you don't get punctures, perfect tire pressure, well, because the tires or the wheels are so hard, it makes you roll insanely fast. So I've come to this hill here to demonstrate. Here we go, flat out, no tires. Oh, oh God. I got a bit too fast down there. Come and look at this, look. I got a drift on round here and it got so sideways, look at it, it was like tick, 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 tick. You can see the marks there. And that's another thing, like I was saying, like you can find your mates like that. They'd be like, oh, Pilgs has been around here doing drifts. So you could follow that mark and find me. It's just amazing. Warp speeds down there as well. And everyone could hear me coming because it was so loud. Let's go on to the next one. Number eight reason is that you don't need a horn anymore because your bike's so loud. Hey guys, hey. They, they heard me coming. Let's go on to number nine. We're now on to number nine, and these are concrete cutties with no tyres on. You can get that back end sliding a bit, and if you turn and dig in, you can cutty the concrete. Cutty. Wow, front cutty. And like, the best thing is, is it's so good for the neighbours of this area. Cutty! That's the best! What's that? Keep it down? Nah. Oh. Right, so the cutties leads me on to number 10. Let's work it out before we get there. Come on. Did you guess it yet then? Number 10 is drift, of course. That little lead up then with the cutties was kind of really close to being drift. We've come to this area with really lovely, slidey, drifty floor that's almost shiny. And without tires on, which is gonna be the new norm in mountain biking, you will also be able to get drifty if you copy me. So let's slide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See how fun it is? Like why wouldn't you wanna do that as well? It's so good. See, fully burning out here. Insane. Whoa! Couldn't see you there, sorry. Oh! Oh! Let's initiate off this little slidey bit here, look. Initiation. Oh my god, that's gonna be the one. Oh, that was huge! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. And there we go. That is number 10. They are the drift with no tires. And as you've seen throughout this video, taking your tires off is the worst thing you could do to your bike.
definitely, definitely don't copy me. It is absolutely ridiculous. We basically just wanted to test these wheels and see what fun stuff we could do with the tyres off today in a fun and strange way. So hopefully that was somewhat enjoyable for you. I hope some of you, well, a lot of people have turned off before the end and they might just think I'm so weird and crazy these days. I do love my Continental tyres and I will never, ever seriously ride without the tyres on. I don't think you should even try it because you will destroy your wheels very fast. So on that bombshell of ridiculousness, noise and wheel destruction, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.